Where were you? Where was I? Where was I? Here, mostly. It's been busy. I haven't made a video in a while. There's some stuff I'm brewing that I think will be good. I think you guys will like it. In the meantime, let's talk about where I've been. Since the last time I released a video, I released a book. That's right. I am now an author, which feels really cool. It's called Revolver. It's a uh, collection of short stories that I've written. Wrote them all myself. It's an ebook right now. I'm working on releasing a physical copy, which it's another process for another time. It's in um, pretty much any store you could buy an ebook. It's on Amazon, Kobo, iBook Store, you name it. On my website. JoelKSullivan.com. I decided a while ago that that's what I really wanted to do is write. What inspired me was actually this book, the Douglas Adams Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Before reading that, I didn't realize how much you could do in a book. It's limitless. You can write about anything. And that really excited me because there's no budget and there's no time restraint. Whatever you can imagine, you can create in a book. So I started working on a concept for a novel. I'm still working on that novel and it's taking a long time. But in the meantime, I would try exercises to like develop my skill as a writer and blah 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 and try different kinds of tone and techniques and styles. What Revolver was and is is a, a test on my ability to write and so what I did and why I named it Revolver is each story was a uh, completely different style of writing and genre and like voice and so I was just really trying to like try different things so I named it Revolver because it's like a gun each bullet is different and it's changing each time you fire so each time you read you're getting a different thing kind of makes sense to me I got a friend of mine to do the cover art which I love it's perfect throw that up there I'm really happy with it. So I thought I'd uh, read a little bit of it to you. Just a little sample. This one is called Sounds Edible. Here we go. I was at the grocery store the other day trying to remember what I actually needed. Having left my grocery list at home, I was standing in one of the many aisles filled with colorful packages, all of them doing their best to convince me to buy them. All of them claiming to be food as well. But when you pick up any of them and actually read the ingredients, there's hardly a word that can be read, let alone sounds edible. They sound like a bunch of science experiments. Ferric sodium pyrophosphate? Blue number two? What was wrong with blue number one? I've heard it's a lot healthier to stay on the outside aisles of a grocery store. That's where all the good stuff is. I had thought about that for a bit, and then I tossed a box of Captain Crunch in my cart. One box every once in a while couldn't be that bad. As I walked towards the dairy section to get some milk for my cereal, my cart started attracting a bunch of attention. Not because of its contents. I had pretty ordinary stuff. Apples, bread, a bag of chips, and peanut butter. But what was getting everyone staring was the front left wheel. It wouldn't stop squeaking. I seem to always find the messed up cart. I don't know what it is, but I always get the one that doesn't want to cooperate. I kept my head down and tried not to look at anyone. As if, when I couldn't see them, they couldn't hear my annoying cart. I arrived at the milk and grabbed some 1%. I used to drink too, but my girlfriend converted me. I started to turn down the frozen food aisle. I had actually wanted ice cream, which was one aisle over. Instead, I was looking at frozen pizzas, with many different toppings and brands. An old man approached me and grabbed my cart. Hey you, he said. I assumed he was mad about the piercing noise coming from the wheel. I'm sorry, I know it's annoying, but I'm, I'm almost done shopping. I pointed toward the parking lot for some reason, like he didn't know the way out. What are you talking about? He looked at me, confused. The wheel. I looked at him, also in confusion. Never mind that. He picked up my box of Cap'n Crunch. You need to put the cereal back and get something healthier. This stuff is no good. What? What do you care what I eat? I looked around to see if anybody around me realized how crazy this old man was being. We were the only ones in the aisle. I care because it's junk like this that crippled me. It made me weak and is shutting down my body. He stared into my eyes until I looked away. Um, I'm very sorry, sir, but I just want my food and I'm going to go now. I tried to take back my cereal when he pulled it back alarmingly quicker than I had expected. You don't get it, do you? He took a step closer to me. I backed away in response. Get what? I thought you might have realized. I thought you would have recognized me. He looked down. No, I don't. Who are you? He looked back up and smiled. It was an oddly familiar, weird sort of smirk. I'm you. Okay, goodbye, sir. Have a nice day. 
I started to turn around and leave my cart with the crazy man. He dropped the cereal back in the cart and grabbed my arm. What are you doing? Let go of me. I can't let go of you. I am you. So that's just a sample. You can uh, find out more if you go get the book. That's just one of nine of the short stories that are in there. You can get the whole book now for 99 cents if you want. If you do get it and you enjoyed it, please let me know what you think. Leave, leave a review here or on Amazon or the iBook store or wherever you get it. I'd love some feedback. Um, it's good to be back. I'm hoping to do a lot more on this channel. Maybe another channel. If you want to support this channel or my writing, uh, I have a Patreon now. You can uh, check that out and sign up and give whatever you want to help. Every little cent of it would help. So you can check that out. You can follow me on social medias. I'm Joel K. Sullivan pretty much everywhere. So yeah, thanks for uh, watching. Thanks for listening to my book, my little story.